All right, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing AMD's dual graphics technology. AMD's dual graphics technology allows you to crossfire the graphics processing unit integrated onto your APU with a dedicated video card. In this video, I'll be testing AMD's A105800K's integrated graphics gaming performance and the A10's gaming performance when crossfired with a discrete AMD HD6670. The specific list of parts I used in this testing is as follows. An AMD A105800K APU, an ASUS F285-M Pro motherboard, an XFX branded 6670 with 1GB of GDDR5 memory, Samsung low profile DDR3 8GB kit running at 1866MHz, and for storage I used an OCZ Agility 3 120GB SSD. All these games are being tested at 1920 by 1080 resolution and on the 13.1 Catalyst drivers. The first game that I tested was Sleeping Dogs. With AMD Dual Graphics enabled, I got an average of 38.2 frames per second. With Dual Graphics disabled, I got an average of 34.5 frames per second. This was at a low preset. What this tells me is this game does either not take advantage of AMD dual graphics technology or that the AMD dual graphics solution simply does not scale well in this game. The next game that I tested was Dirt Showdown. I tested the game on a medium preset. With AMD dual graphics enabled, I got an average of 60.50 frames per second. With AMD dual graphics disabled, I got an average of 40.53 frames per second. It's quite obvious the Dirt Showdown can take advantage of AMD dual graphics and it works out pretty well for the user. The last game that I tested was Left 4 Dead 2 at max settings. With AMD dual graphics enabled I got an average of 62.75 frames per second. With AMD dual graphics technology disabled I got an average of 42.367 frames per second. Left 4 Dead 2 appears to take advantage of AMD's dual graphics technology quite well. I hope you enjoyed my miniature review of AMD's dual graphics technology, and don't forget to subscribe. Would anybody like some bone cake? I'd like some bone Take some more, 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 take some more